really comes from within. You can tell because you live it. You have wonderful vocal variety. You come down here, you use the space, you're working in it, it's natural. You really tell a story well. You draw us in, you're engaging. You love hearing you speak. And you challenge us to think about things differently. It's amazing because you really do a lot of that motivational stuff without being preachy. You're one of those people who are like, do this, and you don't live the right way. You have a wonderful way of just showing you by example. I love it. But because it says Toastmasters, and we love feedback, and I've known you for about three years, so we're setting the bar just a little bit higher, I have to go into talking about structure. I always say there are two kinds of people that come to Toastmasters. People like me who are totally scared to death of speaking. They come here and want to work on it. And then there are the people who love speaking but need to rein it in. You're in that category. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a natural. You get up here, and I always say the difference between a great speech and an awesome one is the so what factor. You want to walk away and have people say, yeah, that guy was great. Not just he was great, but he was great, and he told me three things. And this is what I learned from listening to Tim's song. You want to really have that so people know that it's staying powerful. So, of course, I was being really critical. I was pulling out my outline and listening. I love your intro. You're saying, this is what greatness is. You have the definitions. And then, at about three minutes in, you talk about, this is what it takes to be great. These are the three points. Having a mentor, finding your passion or your role, finding a way to serve I'm others. And then, right, and then having your environment. But I screwed that up, too, so. <laughs> 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 and I would like to even boil it down more. Like, this is what greatness is. These are the three points. Really get it down. This, we're talking about this. Like this. And I think that also helps with sometimes with losing your track. If you know, if you have it in your head, these are the three elements. It's great. You just want to kind of tighten that up a little bit. And now the apologizing when you lose your space, don't do that. You don't want to draw attention to it. You could have just said, okay, so, all right, so back over here. He didn't have to say I lost my place. One other little picky point. When you're quoting somebody, you want to quote them, not paraphrase them. As JFK said, Ask not what you can do for your country. Which was good though. The other thing is, I like your kind of folky, kind of folksy, like colloquialism, which is something, something like don't or something. And it works for you. Otherwise, our grammarian might have noted that. But I think it worked in the context of your speech. It was wonderful. And it was a plum, please, and pleasure. <laughs>